Hello folks, Andrew here, welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to tell you about the Raycast object on Godot. The Raycast object and Raycasting in general are pretty important in video games. Raycast is a line that has a region from a point and is casted toward another point. This is very important to get information from our 3D world or why not? to the world as well. So basically we can get the collider, we can get the collider shape, we can get the collision point and we can have a boolean and have a true or false if the raycast is colliding with something. Now raycast doesn't collide with everything, it collides only with collision shapes and not every node in Godot has a collision shape. Like you can see I have a rigid body, it has inside a mesh and a collision shape. Areas as well has collision shapes, so you may use them. Raycast can be casted from the camera or a 3D node you want. Like you can see in this scene here, the raycast is casted from this object. Now let's give a look to the raycast object. To work it needs to be enabled and we can exclude the parent. Since this may have a collision shape and we could collide directly with it. The next property is cast to and this allows us to modulate the raycast length. Then the next property is the collision mask. Here you can select the layers in which raycast is going to have effect. The unchecked ones are excluded. Last but not least we have the collide width. This allows us to decide to collide with bodies, areas or both of them. Now let's jump to the script. Like you can see it's just a line and it is under process delta. If you're going to create a raycast by script, remember this is a physics process. So you need to use that instead of process delta. If dollar sign raycast is colliding, so this is going to work only if it's true. I'm going to print out the raycast get collision point. This is going to print out a vector Vector 3 with the 3D position where the collision is happening. Hopefully this was useful and didn't confuse you more than you were before. So consider subscribing, leave a like, comment and keep making games!